Good morning, Glacier. It's Thursday, April 14th. I'm Kaya. And I'm Tobin. And here's your GTV episode and daily bulletin. And here's what you need to know. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your applications for graduation students, speakers, and musicians. Applications are due today for more. Umpires needed for Kalispell Pee Wee Baseball. There will be a training session tonight from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Kalispell Pee Wee Baseball Fields. The Wolfpack Speech and Debate team is sponsoring a hat day on Friday. Bring one dollar to wear your favorite hat. All proceeds go to the national qualifiers. Bring money to the commons before school or, or pay a coach any time during the day. It's Team Thursday, which means we will start out today with our GHS Student of the Week. All right, I'm here with this week's Student of the Week. Tyler Avery. And Tyler, you were nominated by Mr. Dennehy. Why do you think Mr. Dennehy nominated you? Um, we're best buds, and I always uh, show up student council, represent the junior class. We had a good prom and a good blood drive, and I thank all of you for showing up to that, so that helped. And what radio station do you think you're going to be picking for this week? Um, I picked 80s on 8, it's just a classic. I hope the teachers love it. Uh, I'm here with Mark Dennehy. Um, the reason why I nominated Tyler was uh, his incredible work with the blood drive. Tyler uh, went above and beyond. Uh, the previous week, Tyler had been out sick and so forth, didn't feel well, missed a lot of school, he had a lot of catch up with his homework, continued to do his catch up uh, with his homework, but also did all the necessary things to pull off our blood drive. Uh, and now for our recaps and preview of Wolfpack acti activities. Here are the Kalispell finishers who finished first, second, or third at the Montana State FFA convention competition held in Bozeman two weeks ago. Our farm business management team won first consisting of Ethan Bay, Evan Heipel, Colton Hendrickson, and Grace Siderius. Individuals Ethan Bay first and Evan Heipel second. For horse evaluation as a team we took first place, the team consisted of Daniel Dixon, Riley Glim, Jordan Green, and Libby Reiner. For our mechanics team, we got second, consisting of Cameron Seymour, Mason Dahl, Zach Gray, and AJ Overman. Our agronomy team took second place. The team consisted of Ethan Bay, Evan Heipel, Addy Shepard, and Delaney Moderman. Individuals were Ethan Bay for first place. For our parliamentary procedure team, we took second, consisting of Evan Heipel, Riley Glim, Bryce Dorsett, Jeremiah Welliver, Laney Vesser, and Jesse Hoover. Our forestry team took home third place. The team consisted of Ethan Bay, Cameron Seymour, Dylan Jouette, and Evan Heipel. For our meets evaluation team, we brought home third, consisting of Evan Heipel, Ethan Bay, Delaney Moderman, and Janessa Levinen. Our vet science team took home third place. The team consisted of Jordan Green, AJ Opperman, Ella Rauch, and Holly Etsy. Team sweepstakes state competition events for the teams were Kalispell FFA first place individual sweepstakes state championship competition events for individuals Ethan Bay first place. For star agribusiness, Delaney Moderman took home first place. Congrats and congrats for all who, who competed at the District Music Festival last weekend. We hope to share all the results next Thursday. On Monday and Tuesday, the Wolfpack Theater Company will produce the play The Island of Dr. Library at 6.33 p.m. in the Wolfpack Theater. Tickets are available at the main office and at Photo Video Plus. Our Wolfpack tennis teams are off to a hot start. Our boys remained undefeated after beating Hellgate 6-2 and Big Sky and Sentinel 8-0. Strong play from all the players, but the highlight has been sophomore Will Rudback. In fact, he is this week's GTV Athlete of the Week. I'm here with Will Rudback, GTV's Athlete of the Week. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. First off, you play singles or double tennis? I play singles. All right. And so, as you can tell, our audio is bad in this part, so I'm going to read to you what they're talking about. In fact, what I'm going to read to you is the nomination from Coach Monroe. Will moved up to number one and went 2-0 and on Saturday morning, moving his overall record to 5-0 and on the season. In his first match, he played a set and a half with a hole in his shoe, causing him to tear through his sock and leave a little blood on the court. Midway through the second set, he borrowed shoes from a teammate and finished off the win, and in the third set, uh, tiebreak. The match had many moments besides Shoegate as Will trailed 6-2 in the first set tie before mounting a huge comeback, winning six straight points to steal the tiebreak tie break at 8-6. to six. Despite losing another set in two and another tie back, he battled back and won the third set 
to take the match. In match number two, he had to borrow his dad's shoes and continued his undefeated streak by beating Big Sky in a windy, cold match and is truly deserving of Athlete of the Week. We then ask him what size of shoe he wears and he lets us know that he wears an 11 and a half, which was also the uh, size of shoes that his dad wears and also his friend. Sorry about the audio, we're trying to get it fixed with some new mics. Head tennis coach, ask him a couple more questions about Will. First off, what do you think of Will as a student? Could you describe him in one word? As a student? Or as, a, as an athlete, my bad, my bad. <laughs> no, um, as an athlete, Will is Will's a fun kid. He's dedicated, he wants to do well, he wants to challenge himself. Um, and he he has goals, you know. He wanted to get, you know, be able to play number one. His One of his goals is, he's, you know, he wants to try and beat Maynard. And then eventually, in a few years, maybe he can play me. He's got it, I believe in him. Obviously dedicated, we heard that story. Great work. We got one more question for you. What is your shoe size? My shoe size is, well, it depends. Nine, nine and a half. You know, Nike's got to go a little bit. Yeah, so like you can never fill Will's shoes is what we're, what we're hearing. Well, apparently Will can't stand his shoes either, so. That's fair. Yeah. Thank you. On Saturday, the girls' tennis team won their final match 6-2 over Sentinel after tying Big Sky 4-4 four four earlier in the day and losing to Hellgate 7-1 on Friday. The Wolfpack boys had 10 players go 3-0 over the weekend matches. Alex Galloway, Timmy Glanville, Ethan Woods, Kyler Knudsen, Trey Englin, Rhett Measure, Dallin Matheson, Calvin Schmidt, Brighton Kelsey, Bryson, Brighton Kelsey. For the girls, Sarah Downs was 3-0 and Haven Spear, Bella Tegerman, Kendall Van Aken, Elise Bile, and Katie Brittany all went two and one. Of course, the snow played havoc on this week's schedule. Glacier is to host Flathead tonight and CMR in Great Falls High at FVCC on Saturday, if the weather cooperates. Our track teams competed last Tuesday versus Great Falls High. Our girls won 105 to 40 and our boys won 85 to 60. First place winners from the pack were Alyssa Vollerston, 400 meters and 800 meters. Sydney Gulick with the 110 hurdles and 300 hurdles. Noah Fincher with 100 meters. Emery Schmidt with the 200 meters. Madison Terry with the shot put. Delaney Schultz with the discus. Bethany Sorensen with the javelin. Jaden Peavy in the high jump. Brenna Barnes with the pole vault. And Kier Sullivan with the long jump, the 4x1 girls relay, and the 4x4 girls relay. For the boys, Caleb Bernhardt with the 110 hurdles and 300 hurdles. Tate Coffin in the high jump and the triple jump. Connor Sullivan with the 200 meter. Sam Ells in the 800 meter. Henry Selwich with the shot put. Ruben Hornby with the javelin. Joe Limberis with the pole vault. The 4x1 boys relay and the 4x4 boys relay. The Snowstorm wiped out both the Tuesday track meet at Legends and today's meet in Butte. The pack will compete again on Tuesday against Flathead and Crosstown Duel here at GHS. Our softball team lost 0-8 to to Sentinel last Wednesday, but rebounded to beat Columbia Falls 6-1 on Thursday. Freshman Olivia Gibbons got a huge pinch hit triple in the sixth inning knocking in two runs and beat, breaking the 1-1 one -one tie. Ella Farrell pitched a two-hitter with 11 strikeouts. Ella recorded 22 strikeouts in the back-to-back -back games. And our softball team has their first home games of the season this weekend. The Glacier Lacrosse team will play their first and only home game on Saturday in Whitefish at the Smithsfield at 11 a.m. Go Glacier! Thanks for watching and don't, don't forget, forget to respect, respect yourself, respect, respect others, and respect the...